Welcome! This is CC 101 Productions and we're sharing the most recent Hazel and Harlow Designer Podcast interview. Our latest entry is with Haley Thorne, Executive Showroom Agent with It's All About the Girl for contemporary handbag and accessory designers JJ Winters and Venta Due, both based in Los Angeles. JJ Winters is a much sought after bag line and Venta Due an incredible leather line originating in Italy. Haley has been gracious enough to allow us to stop by the showroom and chat about these new collections to Hazel and Harlow and offer her insight into the upcoming season styles, celebrities, and her ideas on how fashion and the shopper are capturing the best there is to be had these days. Here we are with Haley, a representative with It's All About the Girls showroom in downtown Los Angeles. Thank you, Haley, for taking time to be with us for our podcast series. Um, Haley represents J.J. Winters and Vente Due, which is a new, two new lines coming to the Hazel and Harlow website. Haley, tell us a little bit about J.J. Winters, about the line and, and how it was started, and then give us a little bit about Vente Due also, because they're new to Hazel and Harlow. I know J.J. Winters is very reputable and is very popular with the celebrities, but give us a little bit for our shoppers for Hazel and Harlow. What, what can you tell us about? Sure. J.J. Winters is a locally owned uh, company. So Joyce Winter started the company about seven years ago and she had been in the industry for a really long time and kind of dealt with every, she had a few different lines, jacket, had done purses for her leather line in the past so it was just, you know, a natural progress to start a handbag line. She was pretty well connected with various um, agents and stylists. So from there it grew, of course, because anytime you have a big celebrity following, it's really easy to get the product out there and the name out there. So she then she, of course, hired a PR company, and then that's kind of when it really exploded. So the bags that Hazel and Harlow has chosen, which we're actually going to be purchasing and bringing on new lines, new styles for the website, because everyone keeps asking for the big fringe bags and the zipper bag right. that um, the celebrities are, are carrying. What do you see trend-wise for J.J. Winters? Is it the big hobo that everyone is gravitating to seasonally, or is it the small chain clutch? What style trends are you seeing for fall? What do you think is going to be happening for fall? Well, yeah, you know, the boho thing still hasn't gone away, and it's strong as ever for summer. I think that we'll keep going with that for fall, but kind of in a more muted tone. Of course, animal accents are huge. Red leather, anything red leather, so you'll be seeing a lot of that, but keeping kind of that boho, you know, theme, because that's kind of what we're known for. Um, the chain clutches are great. I would say those in the big hobo bags is definitely what we're known for, because, again, the price point's affordable for LA-made bags, bags, excuse me, and that's what everybody wants to wear right now. And for Vente Due, Hazel and Harlow chose their clutches, their studded, or the studded cuffs right. for, from that particular line. They're Italian. They're new to the market, I'm assuming, here in, in Los Angeles. Fairly new, yeah. Um, what, what leathers do they use? Where, what do they, where do they originate from, and what is their inspiration? She's Italian, Barbara, and so she, when she was in Italy, she would actually sell leather to all of the um, like high-end Ital you know, Italian lines, excuse me. So she has a big background in leather, and she also designed a little line there as well. So when she moved to LA, she wanted to design a line with an Italian themed kind of, but also very LA because she lives here now. Um, so her line is a little bit edgier. Uh, her hardware and her leather is the top of the line. Um, and she, yeah, she's got a little bit of an edgier theme, but still wearable. And it's, you know, it's good for every girl from we sell stores in London, of course, she has some accounts in Italy, and LA girls love it as well. So tell me something, as a representative for a, a very well-known, high-profile, LA-based showroom here in Los Angeles, the economy's changed, obviously, everyone's been affected by it, retailers are being affected by it. Your industry is, is based on selling to the boutique owner right. who brings that product to market, 
How are you affected or how are you seeing the, the whole fashion industry as a whole and the consumer, where are they gravitating to, what are they doing, how has that changed your industry? How has that changed with the, the economy shifting and the consumer shifting where they go to buy their goods? Well, of course, I don't think it's any secret that online retailers are huge right now. And I think because of this whole celebrity craze and what... Yeah, it's interesting. If you have a line that celebrities are wearing, it's so much easier to sell and get out there. And that's just the way it is, whether you like it or not. So online retailers are really able to go after that market because they can post things immediately that they're wearing and then get orders from that. Um, so it's changed a lot in that sense where, you know, a lot of people shop online now. It's just the way it is. You have so much access to everything. You can kind of price check everything. Um, I hope that the boutique business doesn't die because it's still, you know, shopping is still a, it's a social thing and you go with your friends, but it's definitely, it's definitely changed. and. You know, people are now more price, price conscious than ever. What do you see happening for the holiday season? Do you think that the, um, there's going to be a big boom as far as discounts are going to happen for the holiday season because of the economy? Do you see retailers and even online retailers really going after the consumer to just mark down and slash prices? And do you think that's kind of affected how the market has been set now that everyone is always looking for something to be on sale? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, of course that that happens to an extent, but you have to realize when that happens, you're not getting, you don't have as much choice in what you're getting. And there are a lot of retailers that have stuck through these hard times, and yeah, of course, you know, they sell merchandise, but if you go online to all the top retailers, it's not like the whole website is sale, sale, sale. So I think that, of course, it's easier to find good deals now, and I don't know if it will be the same for holiday, but um, it's, I don't think it's, it's changed so much that every, just to compete, that you have to just price gouge. Because the fact of the matter is, is if, it, if that happens, Every you know, very little will be made in the United States anymore, and you won't have as much access to really well-made goods. And, and wrapping this up, because I know you've got a busy showroom that you have to, to take care of, what are your what do you see for trends for fall and going into spring of next year? What do you see trend-wise? I don't see tons of colors. Of course, a lot of metallics are huge, from anything from dresses to handbags even metallic trousers, so that's a big trend. Like I said before, animal accents, everybody's using those. Um, spring, I haven't looked too far ahead for 2011, um, but again, red is the big color for fall holiday. I keep saying that over and over again. Um, and really, whatever the celebrities wear. <laughs> We appreciate your time. Again, this is Haley with It's All About the Girls Showroom. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Haley's take on online shopping, the current vibe within the fashion community, and the hope for boutiques to rise above the wave of instant online gratification and hang strong is definitely encouraging. As an online shopping site, Hazel and Harlow still appreciates the lure and the fun in walking into a little shop, seeing something truly special, and also support a small local business. Hazel and Harlow would never want to lose that, even with the popularity of their own online shopping experience. Stay tuned for our next industry interview. Until then, cheers from CC 101 Productions and Hazel and Harlow.